Hello, welcome back to this episode of Inside Rick Athletics. I'm Andrew McCarthy, and to my left, I'm joined by junior wrestler from North Bergen, New Jersey, Michael Pistana. Mike, thanks How's for joining going? us. Thank you for having me. You've had a pretty good, successful season so far, three and two, a couple losses here and there, but right now you're on a bit of a roll, three straight wins. You had a couple wins over in New York City, um, and then most recently winning against Plymouth State. Uh, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Where do you think that you yourself and the team has done well? What do you think you guys can improve on? Yeah, I mean been doing well so far you know excited for how everything's been going and you know had a big win the other night and just excited to keep moving forward you had a, a couple matchups last weekend in new york city you faced nyu new york university and hunter college you're from new jersey you're kind of around that area but what was it like just for yourself and as the team as a team bonding experience to go to new york city like that and uh have a couple wrestling matches oh uh, you know it was great you know just being able to go back to uh new york and just seeing everything with the guys and every, you know everybody hasn't most of the guys some of the guys on our team haven't even been to new york city so it was just cool for them to get that experience you know and just you know we had it last year but it's just cool to get that nice like that nyc experience and especially we got to see the tree, the tree and everything it was really cool great time rockefeller center absolutely lighting up the christmas tree always a good sight to see whenever you're in the in the big apple but one thing that i've noticed uh especially with many winter sports is you ramp up for the season to start in late November, early December, and then all of a sudden you hit a wall. It's finals and you have a big holiday break. Uh, with that matchup against Plymouth State, that was your last one of 2023. You don't have another one until January 6th in the, uh, at the Manganaro Dual Meet hosted by Ursinus. How does the team and yourself, how do you try to stay conditioned and stay in shape over that long holiday break? So, like, during this time, like, we got to try to you know, stay in the gym and, you know, try to get uh, – in contact with like our old high schools and go to practices around there or, like practice around like clubs or something that we used to go to back home so you know just trying to stay in shape running going to the gym just staying active you know keeping your mind in shape you know not trying to eat too much you know just keeping everything staying staying active you know just staying healthy for some of our viewers out there they may see wrestling as a bit more of an individual sport but you know it's very far from that you you know you see how um the team scoring really comes into effect and you have a couple of ranked uh, wrestlers in New England on your team. You have guys like Mike Alfonso and Fred Lux, and uh, while he's injured right now, Matt Kelly should be coming back um, in 2024. How does it feel uh, as a team and as a teammate knowing that you have these guys that can really propel the team forward and get that team score up? Does it, does it help boost the morale and boost the spirits of everyone else on the team knowing that you have these guys that can really give you guys a solid chance of winning? Yeah, I mean, it, feel, it feels great. You know, like Having a guy like Fred started off at 125, you know, he's, he's kind of just like the like the, uh, he's like the kickstarter. You know, he starts it off with a big win or a big pin. And then you got Quazy at 33 starting it off and Owen going big. And you know, we have those guys like Mike and and uh, Matt Kelly at the heavier weights. Then know like if if we need guys at the end of the match to clutch it up, we have them to help us out. So that's really it. Feels good having them in our lineup. I gotta think of a question real quick. You had, yeah, you had a okay, okay. In the matchup against Western New England, you had a big win yourself. You're up against Peter Charlie. Charlie was one of those ranked wrestlers in the 149-pound weight class. He was in the top eight, and uh, you were able to get to get a decision over him, uh, four points to three. How did that feel, knowing that you had a a pretty big win under your belt against Western New England and a, and a ranked wrestler? Um, it, it feels great uh, getting that win. Just because I just lost it the last time I was out there at Doug Parker, and I just knew that I could have got that one back. And I he had majored me the last time. I just knew he, that he, like I just knew I could have cut the distance, and I I, I knew I sh I could have beat him. And I just wanted to just display it out there at home, first like home match of the season. Wanted to wanted it to be exciting. One of the uh, for many of our viewers who don't know the the scoring system over the course of one wrestling match has changed over the years in the NCAA. I believe in years prior a takedown was worth two points, now it's worth three. Uh, does that and also uh, back points and near falls as well? There's now near fall uh, four. You can get four points for a near mm -hmm. fall if you're if yeah. you have your opponent on their back for a while. Does that change um, the strategy from this year as opposed to years prior? Um. Yeah, I I think it does. Just trying to make make it myself at least stay more on the offensive instead of like giving up takedowns. Because I feel like last year and just in years prior, you know, it's only two points. You know, I could come back and come back. Now it's three. You got you get two take 
you get taken down twice you're down six one you know it's a it seems like it's a, a mile away trying to come back so now just with this with these new rules just trying to stay on the offensive and the more you score the the quicker you score the quicker you know it's a, like you get to win so that's really that's how I feel about it. Since you are from New Jersey, and there's a lot of members of this wrestling team that are from that metropolitan area, New Jersey, New York, and the like, but why Rhode Island College? How, why, why did, how did that come into the, into the decision of coming up to Providence? Um, just like right on the, when I came on the visit, uh, it was just felt like, you know, just like a nice tight-knit community, very close, you know, and just, just a nice school, the nice campus, you know, I like the coaches and everybody. And it just just a nice place to be, you know. I like it over here, and I liked it on the visits when I just came around New England and Providence. It's just a really cool spot. Thank you for your time, Mike. Uh, congratulations on a very successful start to the season, and best of luck heading into 2024, and have a happy holiday break. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Inside Rick Athletics. My name is Andrew McCarthy, and we hope to see you next time.